Bella and today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me so first things first I just want to say if you guys do not enjoy chit chat videos or talking videos please do not watch you are not going to enjoy um, I feel dumb that I have to make such an obvious disclaimer considering the title has the word chit chat get ready with me in it but every single time I make one of these videos I seem to get comments saying you talk too much or stop talking or something along those lines and I'm like it's in the title people you can also mute me if you want to see how I achieve this look so yeah um, for today's video my friend actually sent me this screenshot right here and I thought it was so incredibly stunning that I just wanted to put it on my eyeballs so I have tried to recreate that look today and this is how it turned out I'm actually really happy with how it turned out so if you guys are interested in getting ready with me if you're interested in this makeup look then please keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video big thumbs up for me if you do enjoy and let's get started okay so the eyebrows require a bit of concentration so I can't talk through them but I've used the Anastasia brow definer in the shade ebony and if I ever forget to oh drop it if I ever forget to mention a product that I'm using, just check the description. I'll have everything listed there, but I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is the shade Medium Light Neutral. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about, I'm so excited. So I have so many exciting things happening this month. I can't mention them just yet though. I think it's happening in like a week, so I'm not sure if you guys will have already seen it by now or if this is going to go up before that happens, but exciting things are happening and another exciting thing that's happening is March 4th I'm actually going to be doing my first meet and greet with Mecca Maxima so it's going to be at the Mecca Maxima in Sydney in Bondi the Westfield Bondi at 12 p.m. it's free you don't have to pay so yeah if you guys live in Sydney feel free to come down say hey I would love to meet you guys I'm so excited because this is like my first meet and greet ever. I just feel like it's going to be so much fun. Sammy Robinson and Tina Young are also going to be there. It's going to be a really fun day, but if you guys are free, it's on a Saturday at 12 p.m. So if you guys are free, feel free to come down. I'm not entirely sure what colors to use, so I feel like this is going to be a whole mixture of different like eyeshadows. Oh, knocked my clock over. How sad is it that this is broken? Okay, so I think I'm going to first go in with Burnt Orange Matte. This is from Anastasia. Oh my god. Carrie and I filmed a video yesterday and I didn't have time to wash my brushes after it. So now all of my brushes, like, he used this for bronzer. So now all of my brushes are like soaked in the wrong products. I feel like I have so much to talk to you guys about, but as soon as I get in a cam like in front of the camera, I never know what to say. But one thing I do want to say is I just bought a mirror. It was quite expensive. It was like $700 for a mirror. It's huge. And I can't wait to start taking like outfit pictures. As lame as that sounds. I just have to move it into like because it's currently like facing the kitchen so I don't want to like take an outfit picture of my ovens in the background <laughs> so I have to like move it into my filming room or something soon but it's like really heavy so I gotta find the time and the effort and I gotta get Carrie to help I feel like I haven't just like sat down and talked to you guys in so long like it has been a minute since I have done a chit chat get ready with me just because every time I do them I always get the comments about like you talk too much and like just show us the makeup or blah de blah de blah like I feel like I'm not allowed to just sit down and talk to you guys anymore because people just complain about it but I swear not much has changed like I swear I still haven't like done much I am moving into the granny flat I don't know if I've mentioned that like currently I am living in my granny flat but I do have to go to Kerry's house uh, every now and again to like upload videos because we still don't have NBN here and it's so annoying because literally everyone right up to our next door neighbor has, N has um, NBN started construction for. 
so it literally cuts off right in my house like if you just went one house further I would have it and I would be able to move in here and also we have to get the flooring changed because the tiles are just really annoying like they I think they're like outside tiles or something honestly like they attract so much dirt and there's only one mop that works on them. And the reason that there's only one mop that works on them... Oh, and by the way, I'm now using Blazing from Anastasia. But the reason that there's only one mop that works is because they're like... Not smooth surface tiles. Like, they kind of have grip on them. So every single bit of dirt just gets stuck to them and they're so hard to mop and like you have to scrub them. It takes me like two hours to mop the granny flat and there's only three rooms here. Like we have our kitchen and our living room, then we have my filming room and the bedroom and it takes me two hours to mop. I don't have the time. Ugh, I just wanna I just wanna feel clean all the time, you know what I mean? The only thing is I haven't been able to buy like a couch or a dining table yet because I don't want to have to move too much stuff out when we change the flooring, but we're not going to like go through the effort of like getting completely new flooring. We're going to get these things called um, timber laminate and they're just going to put them down on top of the tiles. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of Beauty Mark from Anastasia and also Fudge together. Okay, so this is like such a weird thing to tell you guys, but I just have to because this is like one of the most exciting, like not exciting things I've done, but when I was doing it I was like holy shit this is like the coolest thing I've done. So Kerry and I bought um, like 12 month passes to Wet n Wild which is like a theme park on the Gold Coast and uh, so it's ridiculous the tickets there it's $99 for a one day ticket and then it literally costs like $10 extra to buy a 12 month pass to um, three different theme parks like Anyway, while we were there, there's this thing, and I don't remember what it's called, but there's these like two huge um, white poles, and you get strapped in this suit, and you're like laying like face down, facing the ground, and it takes you 55 meters in the air, which doesn't sound like that high, but when you're up there, it is so high. And not to mention, like, it, it just keeps going. Like, you get halfway up there and you're like, okay, like, we're up now. Like, this is really high. But no, it just keeps going higher and higher. And then once you get up there, it, like, has a countdown. It's like three, two, one. And then you have to pull a cord and you just drop. You literally just drop. Like, it is the craziest thing I have ever experienced. It's like bungee jumping almost. Um... No, it's like insane. <laughs> I screamed like a baby. But I'm also, gosh, this was this was my Christmas present, but I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me in so long that I haven't even been able to tell you guys. So um, literally for like four years, I have wanted to go diving with the whale sharks. And for my Christmas present, my parents got me and my dad a ticket to go diving with the whale sharks in June. So it's not happening for a while, but oh, the excitement is real already. <laughs> now for my eyelid shade, I'm going to be mixing Henna from Anastasia. That's a really weird way to be holding it. And uh, this shade here, which is called Roulette, and it's from Makeup Geek. Okay, so now it is time for some heavy concentration. I'm going to do my double winged eyeliner. So I'm going to first start off with Dirty Talk. This is from Colourpop and I'm using a, I'm not going to use that one, Eka brush. Oh man, I really like the gold wing by itself, huh? Look at it shaking. I have a ring light now, and the camera's like attached to the ring light, but it just wobbles every time I like press a button or anything. It's really annoying. So like every time I start filming, I have to like press start and then just sit there for a while until it stops. Like, I am obsessed with this gold wing right now. 
Oh well. Now I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Black Gel Eyeliner, which I think I'm going to need to get a new one soon. Does she still sell these? Because I'm going to miss out. had to finish that off camera because the um, gold dirty talk one was really dry so it was so hard to get the black wing liner straight and now I'm actually gonna add some of the wing liner to my um, I'm gonna tight line with it so I'm gonna start on the face and the primer I'm gonna use is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer and uh, by the way what do you guys think of the new background huh Huh? Did anyone notice? I was so sick of the other one. I just felt like it was really washed out and like, I don't know. I didn't like the way that it looked and I was just like, I need something new. So Carrie and I went shopping and we bought this lamp here is from David Jones. This little clock here is from Bed Bath & Table and then that is from Bunnings. And can you believe, okay, so the plant and the pot cost me $26, right? And that's a real plan, okay? Keep that in mind. And then I went to Pillow Talk and for a fake plant and a dingy pot, they wanted to charge me $180. $100 for a fake plant, I don't understand. I just like left Pillow Talk really confused. <laughs> Which reminds me, I also bought Mia an expensive bed and blanket to cover her crate. A little girl is just sleeping on the floor next to me. Like, come on, I paid a lot for that. I even tried to coax her in there with a treat and she just like ate the treat and then just left and came and slept next to me again. Oh, and this foundation is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. I'm in the shade St. Moritz. Oh, and so when we got this from David Jones, we were just like looking at lamps they had because I was obsessed with this lamp and it just made me want a lamp in the background. But we decided to see if there was any more that we liked. And I was like, wow, I really love this one. Like, I found this other one and it was so stunning. And I was like, okay, I'll check the price. And it cost $870. How can you charge that much for a lamp? It definitely wasn't worth that. It was just like this little lamp, which like had like, it like spiraled like that. And it was like silver mirror looking stuff. And then a lamp head. How is that $870 worth? I feel like this happens every time I go to film a chit chat get ready with me. I have so much to say and like catch up with you guys on. And then I get in front of the camera and I start filming and I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> and, oh my, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. So I was just, you know, online today, checked my Instagram DMs and I had a Instagram DM from someone telling me that Pornhub is using my selfie and they're calling me Emily. So basically what it is, is it's like an ad or something on Pornhub and it's like Emily's calling or whatever. I haven't actually checked the ad out myself and I thought it was like a joke or like photoshopped or something like that but then I got another inbox from someone on another porn site with the same ad like is someone selling me as an ad like why don't you use a naked girl use a tit or something like why are you it's literally a selfie of me like this like I am not even kidding you there is no nudity you can clearly see I have a t-shirt like this on except it's pink and I'm just smiling like use a naked person or something like I feel so like violated that like a porn company is using me and like I've got no idea how to like message Pornhub and be like take my face off there Do you guys have any favorite shows right now? Kerry and I just started watching Shameless off your recommendation. I asked on Snapchat a little while ago what we should watch and so many people said Shameless. So Kerry and I have been, oh my God, look how funny that looks. <laughs> so Kerry and I have been watching Shameless and we are like obsessed with it. We like watch it every night. I swear, Kerry and I just go through shows so quickly that we always need to find new ones. But Shameless has so many seasons. 
But what shows are your favourites? Like, what shows do you guys watch? If you have any more recommendations, because you guys recommended Shameless and it's awesome. I'm obsessed with, oh, what shows do I like? I love Suits. I love um, Supernatural, actually, but I've kind of stopped watching it because they don't have all of the seasons on Australian Netflix and I kind of don't really trust like random sites on the internet because what if I get like a virus or something and if we also watch house what else do I like watching there's one show and it's in my head and I'm like I love this show but what is the name oh how to get away with murder I love that show do any of you guys watch how to get away with murder because if you haven't you need to start I just realized Kerry used my nose contouring br brush for black eyeshadow. So now I have to try and contour with this. Blends really nicely. And did you guys see what happened with Z palette? I want to like replace my Z palettes. And I asked on Twitter for some suggestions and like a few people said the NARS Pro Palettes. So I went to buy it and we can't get it in Australia and I'm so devastated because they're beautiful. I just wish Australians could get like the same access to makeup as America. Because I feel like we don't have shit over here. <laughs> I wanted to do a one brand tutorial with NYX. And I wanted to use the um, drops that they just came out with and I can't get them in Australia either. Like what's the deal? Okay, normally I hate this color for my waterline because I feel like it makes me look sick, but I'm going to try it again. This is the Full Spectrum Eyeliner from Makeup Geek, and it's in the shade Plumeria. I just don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it makes me look sick or something. Now, everyone's favorite part, I'm going to add some highlighter. This one is So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just feel like it kind of goes with the gold wing liner. I love it. Yes. Oh my god. I never use gold in my inner corner. It looks so nice. Someone just commented on my nose contouring video and said, Now I see why you contour your nose. It's ugly without it. Oh my god, you have a nose on top of a nose. Like, I don't see the point. Like, but like, aren't you embarrassed? Like, people see your comment and they just like, they don't judge me and think, Wow, like, yeah, you're right. Her nose is ugly. They look at you and they're like, Wow, like, their life must suck. Like, I just can't comprehend it. I've never felt the need. To comment something rude on someone's photo I've never felt the need the best part of it is though whenever like a youtuber replies they're always like oh my gosh I didn't mean it like that I'm so sorry I didn't expect you to see like you called me ugly bitch how else did you mean it or they'll say something like you put your life on the internet if you can't handle it why are you a youtuber like, your profile is on public as well. How would you feel if I just went on and commented on your photo? Hey, you're ugly. <laughs> they would be so offended, but it's fine for them to do it to us. Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> it broke. I'm using the Becca Wild Honey Blush. So, oh, did you guys know that um, Stilla went cruelty free? I am so excited. Yeah, I don't really like this. I'm gonna apply Kat Von D's Lolita on top. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!